Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. Um, you might, well, I guess you already know what we're gonna do today. I'm looking forward to it because I love looking at fishing tackle no matter how much there is. I always love just looking through it and be like, man, this is so cool. But I'm kind of dreading this at the same time. That's why I haven't done it yet. I want to redo the fishing room that I had in my old house in here in the fishing sauna. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also really dreading it because I feel like this could take about four or five hours to hang everything back up. And I've also gotten a lot of this stuff. So I think this might kind of turn to like a two part video. One is going to be hanging this stuff up and getting this room kind of set up i want it to be like dude, i want like the basic design of this room to be set up i have some stuff coming for this room that i'm kind of excited for i have some flags and like some other decor that i hang up in here a little bit nicer to look at a little bit prettier in here i'm gonna hang up like those black pegboards that i had all my lures hung up on them i hang those back up put some more lures on those because i have a lot of new stuff um i'm probably honestly gonna have to go get more of those pegboards i still have a whole bunch of soft plastics and hard baits that are still in packs that i just want to be able to hang up in different places i think that's what we're gonna do today well that is what we're gonna do today and I need storage shelves. I'm probably gonna have to go to Home Depot and get more of the black hangers. Let me show you how everything's hanging up right now. As of right now, we just have, we have a popper and we have a crankbait that's broken that's just kind of like jammed into the wood with treble hooks. There was already a nail in the wall, so I just kind of used that to throw up some of those kingtail power bait lures. I want to organize all of this stuff a little bit better than just having it back here on this back wall. I want to make the most out of this space while I'm here because I mean, you only get the 20 year old apartment phase of your life once and I want it. I want to be able to look back on it and be like, man, I did that, you know? So with that being said, you can look for it to potentially a Home Depot trip in today's video to get some more wall hangers. I need to get a storage thing, so that'll probably come from Harbor Freight or maybe the thrift store. We can find one at the thrift store. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I want everything to be nice and organized. Also, I need to reorganize the tackle that I take from pond to pond with me every day because it's just everywhere now and i was looking for stuff and i couldn't find it and i was like i think it's time for another tackle organization slash what's my tackle bag what's my tackle box video have a whole bunch of Berkeley stuff. Before I hang up any of that stuff, I think I want to go ahead and go to Home Depot. And I might buy... So I'm going back and forth. Do I just want to make like two more wide on each side or one more wide on each side and buy four more boards? Or do I want to buy six? But if I buy six, then I really have to buy eight to fill in the two corner pieces. So what do y'all think? I think, I mean, I could just get six and then do two more and then two more or four more and then two more. I don't know. Let's see. We'll figure it out when we get there. We also need screws and probably need more pegs. We'll definitely need more pegs. And what else? I feel like I'm missing a Young is coming to you lie lie from a place where nobody else know to take it. They hand up, they want us to spit the pie pie, right? Cause they realize that we gone crazy. Yeah. I flip my pie, really did that 180. Yeah. Skip, skip. I flip my pie, really did that 180. It's coming to you lie lie from a place where nobody else know to take it. They hand up, they want us to spit the pie pie, right? Cause they realize that we gone crazy. Guys, the older I get, the more and more exciting Home Depot gets, and the more and more expensive the trips get. It started off buying like PVC to make blow guns, and now it's turning into $100 to build a fishing room in a hot garage. I love it. Guys, as you see, these videos aren't cheap. I just dropped $125. It might not be expensive at all, but that's... 
that's very expensive to me so if you could just drop a like subscribe you know just it all goes back into the videos guys and <laughs> these videos get expensive some days whether we want them to or not but i mean this is like one of those setup videos that you'll see pieces of this video incorporated in other videos for the next year or two so yeah it's all worth it i guess i'll probably have those boards hanging up for the rest of my life Alright guys, so I have just about everything hung up. Well, not everything hung up. I have everything put together. I have my shelf put together over there. I hung up my Big Mouth Billy Bass that I bought off of Macari. It works and it sings. I would show it, but I don't want the video getting demonetized because it sings like a Bob Marley song. I have my board put up. I have my pictures over here on this side. Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh, now I have to figure out how I'm gonna hang up my baits. I think I wanna do like hard baits on this side. Probably help if you can kind of see it and visualize it with me. Hard baits on that side, soft plastics on this side. I honestly might need even more board, but we'll see how it goes. First box is done, now we have, and then we have a whole bunch of like miscellaneous other stuff that I don't know what is what and where to put what. So it's gonna be very interesting. Also it's super hot in here, so it's like messing up. It's messing with my mind a little bit. Saying I'm starting to say words twice and three and four times. And sheesh, we need to find some like good AC to put in here. We need to put a wall banger in here somewhere. <laughs> All right guys, the time is now 6.43 and we are finally done. We started about 12 today. It took us six hours to do all of this, but that was like a couple breaks here and there. You know, you know how it goes. But anyway guys, we are finally done. I don't want to show it to you yet. I kind of cut the camera off and said I'd just finish it, do like a big reveal at the end. But I guess I'll start at the garage door as if we were walking in together. So, garage door just closed. We stepped inside. First thing that you're gonna see to your right is the kayak. We have the kayak. You've seen all this stuff before. I'm sure you've seen me move this kayak a hundred times on the videos, starting off videos, moving it around. Then we have our table this is going to be like unboxing slash fishing lure making slash whatever i need this table to be used for i really want to get something to put up right here kind of as like a backdrop for videos and then i want to get like this table covered i don't know what to cover it in maybe like a big piece of granite maybe go spend a bag on a slab of granite to cover that table in or something like that oh um, let's see as we go we have the trolling motor for the john boats we have some just like storage tubs nothing too important in there this is a new addition we have some fishing lures pfd fishing lures reels some mystery boxes just stuff from just 
stuff that we've done videos with in the past. And we also have some reels that need to go on rods that are like, I don't know why they're not on rods. I probably just took them off to wipe them off or something like that. Um, all these reels I still use. I use this one, this one, this one, that one. The Black Max, I don't really use that as much. I have a lot of these, so they kind of like sit out. Oh, and the Zeta too. I almost forgot about that one. That was sitting back in the shadow. I use that one quite often. Let's see, yeah, so we have all of our reel boxes, everything. We have some waders, our kayak tackle. I just took it off of the kayak. Normally, I keep that on the kayak, but just took it off just to kind of fill up the space to see if it will fit, and it fits perfect with the waders. We have my first ever tackle box right here. One day, I want to give that to my child. We have our little crappie bag, pan fishing bag whatever you want to call it our battery magnets for magnet fishing and a battery charger not sure if the battery magnets and battery charger if they should all be on the same shelf but they are and i guess we'll figure out in the morning if that was a good idea or a bad idea um now for the board it's a lot bigger than it was it was just these four pieces right here then we added these top and bottom top and bottom so i guess we start off on the right side we have some of our umbrella rigs i caught my pb on this one i know that because i still have the line attached to the top so i just kind of I screwed those onto the wall. I don't think I'm going to use these anymore. I'm sure I have a whole bunch of them somewhere. I bought a lot the day we went. I went out with Marshall. I found some on sale. They're like four or $5 a piece. So I bought a whole bunch of them. And some of these have kind of like broken the hooks or kind of been out on some of them. So I said, those will just be my memories from like my first days ever fishing in Alabama rig. And I'll just hang those up. And this is the one I made with the custom swim bait steering vlog of last year. I need to actually try to fish with this one again. I bet I could probably catch something on that. Cause I never did catch a fish on that one. Uh, we set the wall up a little bit different this time. I did hard baits on this side and our soft plastic stuff on this side. So we have like, I did like choppos, small fritz sides, crank baits, war pigs, and bigger fritz sides on that side. Then we have a couple of new lures by Berkeley here, Magic Swimmer. There's also a new lure that's not all the way out yet on this wall. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I'm sure you're probably looking right at it <laughs> uh let's see let's see what else so we have some net heads whenever i do my organization video my tackle box i'm definitely gonna end up taking these off the wall a lot of this stuff probably won't be on the wall after the next video i post but i just kind of want to fill it in just to kind of see what it looked like you know i'm sure we'll have it all the way filled up and have to expand it keep expanding and keep expanding it at least that's the dream you know so we have a whole bunch of soft plastics i'm not going to go through all this you've seen most of this stuff before it's the gillies those are new these champ crawls i caught three fish in early spring i was like looking down into the water caught three fish on the champ crawls they're a og lure and when i say i caught three fish i caught like a three pounder a four pounder and another three pounder on these on the same crawl actually it was pretty pretty legit my scale I broke on that big carp I caught on a jerk bait. Then we have some like big magnum worms up there. They just kind of look awkward on this board. So I drilled some screws up there and stuck those up there. And that's stuff that I normally don't use every day. So it's going to be fine up there. I'm not really worried about being able to access it super quick. Then we have a whole bunch of hard baits. This is all stuff that I've done challenges with or I just thought was cool. And a lot of it stuff that I won't use every day either. You know, I normally go out with like a challenge video in mind or a or like I already know nine times out of 10 what I think I can catch fish on at a pond and I'll have all this stuff in a tackle box. Like this chopper and that popper probably won't be on the board after we do our tackle organization video. But this is like our organization for our tackle storage. But when we organize this, that could probably be a full 30 minute video uncut. I'm trying to figure out where all the lures actually supposed to be at and not where they're at now. All right, bounce on over to this corner. We have our rods. I just kind of threw them all right there. These are all the arsenal. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you want to see an arsenal video i have a couple new rods coming in here pretty soon so i was gonna wait and do kind of like an end of season end of summer fall rod and reel arsenal video but let me know if you want to see one a little bit earlier we have our five gallon bucket with our cast net my mom's rocking chair <laughs> and we have our pictures from the fishing room so just some 2020 memories when i was really starting off and you know just kind of nice to look at some motivation they're not in any particular order or anything like that and they're also like not even that kind of bothers me now i was just hanging them up all right guys so that's it for today's video that is part number one of the tackle sauna fishing sauna man cave fishing sauna room that i built my second fishing man cave my second fishing sauna my second fishing man cave my first fishing sauna i have a whole bunch of other stuff i want to do i really want to make this room kind of like i want to make it look a lot better than it does right now so this is just step number one i have a whole bunch of flags nice rod holders i kind of want like some posters i really want to do like one of those shoots you know that you see on the backdrop so like dicks or academy i want to be on one of those and i want to have a poster of that to hang up in here you know i feel like i made it if i could do that but anyway hopefully one day guys hopefully we'll get to that point one day but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're not let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments what should i add to this room don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day
Thanks for the support. Man.